to say a lot has changed since Republicans were governor in Oregon and the Democrats are hoping that Tina Kotek is the candidate to keep Oregon blue. And this week, a final pre-election poll was released that has flipped the script on what we've seen for the last few weeks. It shows Kotek with a four point lead at 48 percent to Drazen's 44 percent. Unaffiliated candidate Betsy Johnson dropped below 10 percent. Now, take these results with a grain of salt because the poll was done by the group Data for Progress, which is a self-described progressive think tank and polling firm. They surveyed nearly 1,400 likely Oregon voters, though, through the first six days of the month. That's a pretty good large sample size. The margin of error is 3%, meaning Kotec is just beyond that margin. That brings us to a resource we've featured several times now. It comes from the website 538, and it takes an average of all the polling done in this race and accounts for each of the polls quality, when it was done, the sample size, and the partisan lean. The average of all the polls in this race now showing, look at this, Kotec with a three-point lead. That's the first time that we've seen that in this race since uh, October. Drazen in the red has been in the lead, but now Kotec up by three points on this latest poll. And that poll comes in from this group, Data for Progress. And you can see, if you look over here, they polled a sample of 1,300 people, almost 1,400. And as we look kind of scrolling down through here, that's the largest poll that's been done so far. So they get a B grade from this 538 uh, group, which means that they do pretty good work. And so this, I'm sure, is going to be very good for the Kotec camp and worrisome for the Drazen camp because suddenly it looks like the race has shifted if the polls are correct. All right, now, 538 also has a model that simulates the election 40,000 times to see who wins the most often because, you know, that's kind of fun to do. Here's a look at 100 of those 40,000 outcomes. Look on the top there. Kotec is now slightly favored to win. When we looked at this on Friday, the model was showing a dead heat, but with the recent polls, things have shifted.